Hi, my name is Sachin Chaudhary. I'm working as a chartered accountant in a reputed MNC and I'm here to teach you the different types of derivatives which we generally get confused with and what is the use of these derivative instruments. So uh, there are four types of derivative instrument future, forward, swap and options. So these are different types of derivative instrument as we are uh, we all are aware that the price of derivatives is dependent on the underlying instrument. So the price of derivative moves as far as the price of underlying instrument moves. So uh, what is the use of future? These are generally used in trading of shares. Forwards are again in currency or shares. Swaps are generally used for currency swap or interest rate swap. And options are generally of two types. These are again used in share market. One is call option and second one is put option. So generally in first three there is a contractual obligation for both the parties to satisfy the contract generally it is on the buyer but in case of option there is a right as well as option whether to uh, fulfill the contract or to cancel it so i will explain each of these derivative instrument to you in detail let's talk about future so future is the contract by which i expect something uh, let's say for a share market if I I am assuming that the share price will go up then I will buy a future and if I expect that the share price will go down then I will sell the future in respect of forward contracts these are generally used as a hedging uh, instruments because say for example company A has taken external commercial borrowing that is ECB loan of say USD 1 lakh and at the time of taking the loan the market price of USD versus INR was say for example 60 rupees so I have taken that loan in my books at the rate of 60 into 1 lakh that is 60 lakh rupees but the repayment terms are such that I need to pay this loan after two years so I don't know what will be the price of USD after two years so I want to hedge my position for repayment of that loan after two years so I will enter into a forward contract with bank by which I will say that look whatever would be the market price at the end of year two I want to settle this loan at the price of say 65 because I assume that USD is going to gain over the period of two years so then bank will charge me some premium for that amount and then whatever would be the actual price at the end of two years my liability is restricted to only 65 rupees let's say and uh, based on that we also have to account for mark to market gain or loss at each reporting date because there might be a changes in the premium depending on the fluctuation in the usd currency then let's go to swap swaps are generally used in currency and interest rate Say for example, if uh, I have taken uh, in interest based on uh, LIBOR plus 2%, so my interest rate would be fluctuating based on LIBOR. So if I want to hedge my interest rate, then I would enter into a swap agreement with bank by which I would say, look, I want my interest rate to be fixed. I don't want it to fluctuate based on LIBOR plus 2% or so. So that is the interest rate swap. Then for currency swap, say for example if I want to hedge the principal amount so then let's say for example I have same example I have a taken a loan of say 1 lakh USD into 60 rupees 60 lakh loan is appearing in my books I have entered into agreement with bank I, I have told them that I want to hedge my loan in the Indian currency so they will uh, convert that USD 1 lakh to INR 
so let's say they are offering me uh, okay we will do that but you have uh, your principal would be then 70 lakh rupees then i have hedged my principal position so in both the example i can use forward or principal currency swap to hedge my position then let's come to options options are of two types call option and put option when i am assuming that the market price in the future will go up then i will generally buy a call option because uh, i am assuming that market price will go up and whatever strike price which i have mentioned in the contract if the market price goes above that and uh, then my profit i will start generating profit on that but if i assume that uh, market price of that share is going to go down then i will buy a put option at the same time if i assume that market price is going to go down then i can buy a put option or i can write call option but as you all know that writing a call option or writing a put option there is a huge premium that uh, somebody has to deal with so these are the different four types if you like my video then please subscribe